The 48th BT Young Scientist and Technology Exhibition has been formally declared open by Antishak Endekeni. Record numbers of entries from across the 32 counties entered the competition, with 550 projects selected to exhibit. The categories for this year's competition range from technology, chemical, physical and mathematical, biological and ecological and social and behavioural sciences. The winner of this year's competition will receive a prize fund of €5,000 and will go on to represent Ireland at the European Union Science Contest. And to date, Irish students have taken the European top honours 13 times. The 79 judges must decide in the coming days which project they believe should receive this year's honour. It's absolutely magnificent. Every time I come to this exhibition, you feel the energy and the passion for what young people do in respect of all this, the different projects. 550 of them. I really do hope that so many of them lead on to new innovations, new discoveries, new cures. And you can feel it of them in there. This is the future. Uh, and that's why I try to say that it's so important that they think mathematics, that they think technology, that they think science, they think innovation, when they are filling in their CAO forms. Because international companies are saying, we need more people who are professional, who are competent, who are able in these fields. So there's a bright future in there. It's a big signal for Ireland. Um, sponsorship is the least of what we do. We organise the event um, and we also then, we, we've added things to the event over the years as well. We added the primary science fair um, in, um, in 2003 and then in the last two years we've added the business of science and technology. So continuing to develop and enhance um, the exhibition but in line with the original, um, original ideals of the um, Young Scientist exhibition. Um, I'm Eve McClellan from Grosvenor Grammar School in Belfast um, and this is my project called Halo. This is a unified ceiling sprinkler that helps um, evacuees to get out by using light and water to help put out the fire and lighten their area to their nearest exit. My name is Andre Packer, I'm from Rockbrook Park School and I made a project on identification and use of mathematical algorithms that are found among road users. Preparing the visual display took me about 70 hours altogether and I've been working on the project actively for 14 months and in total about 28 months. Uh, my name's uh, Connor Berry and uh, my colleagues are Martin Redden and uh, AJ O'Connor and we're from Desmond College, uh, County Limerick. One of our students, Martin Redden, he comes from a farm background and um, he, he was out in the farm one day with his father and the vet and they found it very straining and um, they were wondering is there a simpler way of being able to help, help them and just basically make it better for their, their lives like, and it's easier and we came up, with, came up with this idea. Great support for the, um, for the BT Young Scientist exhibition from across public and private sector. Um, our, the departments of education both in Northern Ireland and here in the Republic of Ireland have given us huge financial support and we're really appreciative of that. And then also in the private sector um, we have uh, um, a number of um, key partners and exhibitors um, who, who make a huge contribution to the, the overall setup of the exhibition. And also you know, there will be people here from across the political and business um, organisations here to see the actual um, projects that, that people have submitted to the exhibition. We really do get great support and we're very appreciative for it.